the text. Gather the people to me, and I will let them hear my words. Deuteronomy 4.10. The text refers to the text of Scripture, which is named to distinguish it from the preacher's comment or exposition of the text. Begin with the text. The text turns into a sermon. The sermon being reducible to the one point looking to be explained based on the intent of the Holy Spirit in the text is what you are driving for. Later, that'll be applied. But the text is the foundation of the sermon. Text of the Bible. Peter Van Maastricht said, a suitable text for the selected argument of the sermon should be taken only from the canonical books of Scripture, which are the most effective in convicting the conscience, not to be excessively prolix so that the time for the arrangement not be snatched away first by a rather prolix explanation of the words and not be excessively brief so that the preacher would make his argument less clearly and plainly and even produce in his hearers a suspicion of affected brevity. You don't want the people who are listening to you preach think that you're skipping over the text because you don't know what it says, really and you haven't done the work, you have to show them why it is that you are going to teach them a specific doctrinal proposition, which means you have to explain the text. The subject of the text should be carefully considered so that the preacher comes away from the study text with the subject, which is one. One thing, one point, one proposition. William Perkins, in his book, The Art of Faithful Preaching, said, Scripture is the exclusive subject of preaching, the only field in which the preacher is to labor. They have Moses and the prophets, let them hear them. The scribes and the Pharisees sit in Moses' seat, that is, they teach the doctrine of Moses, which they confess. Therefore, whatever they tell you, observe, observe and do. The word of God is God's wisdom revealing from heaven the truth, which is according to godliness. Perkins says, the exceptional qualities of the word, both in its nature and its effects, evoke our admiration. The people need to trust the preacher who preaches from the Bible, chooses a text from the Bible, understands the intent of the Holy Spirit in that word, and clearly explains that to them so they know, ultimately, where he's going with his doctrine and his application.